Alright, so my Kef Cube 2 uh, decided to fill the room with smoke. Apparently this fault is not all that uncommon, but this particular fault probably is uncommon. Now pay attention here that the screws that hold the plate amp in aren't all the same. There's two different types. There's two small machine thread screws and the rest are self tappers. This is the reverse side of the plate amp assembly. The most common fault I've read online is apparently this black thermistor here next to the mains input connector usually explodes. Um, this is used for inrush current protection. On this one it's not actually the fault. We'll get to that shortly. The amplifier IC is underneath this metal bracket here and as you can see the capacitors above it have basically boiled dry and their fluid is corroding the board. No doubt every other capacitor in this unit is probably dry by now as well. I might add that this thing is about 8 years old now um, so it has had a hard life. Let's get down to disassembling it. The first thing to do is disconnect the mains connector and then there's just two more connectors on the top of the board. Once these are removed you just take the metal uh, silver screws out around the edge and the whole power board assembly is removable. This is replaceable as a spare part. You don't have to replace the entire plate amp, but in my case I'm going to replace it. Also note that these silver screws have star washers underneath them and they're also red loctited in place because this unit does generate quite a lot of vibration in use as you'd expect and you really don't want those screws working themselves out over time and rattling around in the case or worse yet shorting out something on the circuit board. So if you're taking this out do replace them with red Loctite. That's all there is to removing it. It's just a bit difficult because there's quite a lot of uh, heatsink paste holding the unit down and it's basically pulling a vacuum trying to pull it away but it does come free eventually. Common sense applies here. Don't be putting your fingers anywhere near the underside of that large filter capacitor because there is a potential for a nasty surprise in the way of an electric shock. Make sure you discharge it properly before you're working on this board. Now you can start to see the damage to this board. I don't consider this kind of damage to be repairable. I certainly wouldn't be happy with any kind of repair done to a charred circuit board. I personally would only replace a board when it's in this condition. Just to get a better look, we're going to take off the heatsink for the amplifier IC. There's just a few screws surrounding it, including the bracket holding it down firmly. And you can see that the explosion event even charred the uh, aluminium heatsink somewhat. There's a closer look at the corrosion from the leaking capacitors on the top side. And there's a better look at that uh, crater on the bottom side of the board. <laughs> 